Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. Gonna do another episode of your love life. See what's going on um, for the rest of this month of April going into May. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> um, if you wanna get a personal reading, click the link in the description box below. Book your reading straight from that link. Um, do subscribe if you're new. You can become a channel member as well. Lots of good stuff. Okay, so let's not mess around. So you have the butterfly. Transformation, relationship evolving, karmic relationship, and the snake. What the heck is going on here? Okay, Virgo. What is going on? Competition. Hmm. Really? So, oh my gosh. Is this for real? You guys, is this is this real life? Oh my gosh. Does somebody have you in competition for their um, attention with somebody else? Oh my goodness. Are you in a karmic relationship with someone that... Somebody's testing you, Virgo. Somebody is testing you to see um, how much you... Like, I don't know if they're putting you in like a bad situation. They're testing you. They want a relationship to move to the next phase. Like this butterfly is really, really good. But the karmic and the snake, hmm. All right, I'm going to separate this. I'm going to separate this. I have to because I feel like these are a couple of different messages here. Okay. So we're going to leave the karmic and the snake there. Let's just focus on the butterfly energy right here because there is something evolving here to another phase, next phase, healing and inner child, having growth, all of that. Let me see. Wow. Okay, you have temperance and the devil. Holy sh... You know what? Oh, the two of cups. Okay. All right. No, they just gave it to... Me. All right. So here's the deal, Virgo. Um... It, some kind of a karmic relationship of some sort whether you know it is or you think it is there's some like i can't believe i'm saying this because generally when we say oh karmic relationships they got to be done with them let them go but this one is healing this one is freaking healing you know karmic relationship is like letting go loving letting go of the karmic loving yourself it's got turmoil, fleeting triggers, lessons to be learned, the snake. Like this could be somebody else involved in um, a relationship you have with another person. This is competition, enemy, someone who's clever, being malicious. Listen, there's so, like, it's healing all on its own. That, that's all I can say. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what's going on here. All I can tell you is... There is a healing energy that's happening all on its own between you and someone that was it was a very toxic or unhealthy relationship. I feel like there was some lessons here to be learned between you and this person. Like you guys had to like pass some kind of test with each other. And you passed the tests, Virgo. You passed the test. You and another person this year for sure have passed, have learned these lessons from whatever was going on before and some of you maybe you're starting a new relationship with someone because now it's time but for others there is this energy of like this person that you're currently connecting with um on to the next tier on to the next level here you've gone through the hard stuff is what i'm hearing the the difficult part is over now the, the difficulties, the difficult stuff is now, it's done. It's over. Okay, wow. Wow, if there was somebody else involved in a situation, it was very karmic, there might have been a third party. It looks like you and this person, I don't know, like you got together and then you went through these hardships and these were all like relationship builders. Um... Uh, you know what, Virgo? Uh, that's what I feel like is going on here. I, I just have to say it. There's expansion and there's growth. Holy shit. Hold on a minute. 
you're going to be hearing from someone, Virgo. Somebody's going to be reaching out to you. Yeah, there's a, even with this devil card, and then sitting on top of temperance, it's like taming the beast, you know? I feel like you guys, you and another person or somebody here is, has tamed, has calmed down, they've settled down, they fixed their issues. Maybe you're not involved in this, you might be. But whatever another person was doing, they were maybe just messing around, they were maybe just being very unhealthy, being very toxic. I feel like this person is changing their ways. They've had some kind of growth or some kind of change. Now, look, if it's a narc, this isn't for you because they don't change. They can change their behaviors temporarily, but mm, I, don't, I don't feel like it's that. I just feel like this person is, they've cleaned up their act is what I'm hearing. They're not messing around anymore. They might have been in a karmic relationship with someone else and they've learned a huge lesson from that they had a lot of toxicity in them they've learned to have this growth this make this transformation like going of letting go of the other person like a like i guess if they had a third party this person's like moving they're they want to so they're ready to take yeah, maybe they're coming back to you after messing up really bad and moving forward the the relationship with you i guess it, well at least that's what they want like i don't know if that's what you want but at least that's what i'm seeing that this person wants oh gosh the hierophant yeah like they're coming with that commitment here taurus energy capricorn sagittarius gemini Coming in with the commitment, Virgo. They're ready. They screwed up something. They did something. Oh my gosh, look. There's the Ace of Cups. Yeah, ready. They getting that blessing. Virgo. Let me see you for a second here. Let me see. I do feel like they're gonna be um reaching out with the Page of Cups. It might be the distance to this person. <clears throat> I feel like this person, your person here is going to lay all their cards out on the table and admit the things that they did wrong and tell you what, how they're making changes and what they're doing or what they've been doing. And Virgo, you've got the five of pentacles. I don't know if you're ready to take this person on. You seem to be like, I don't know. There's a struggle here with you. Let me see. Yeah, you're like, hmm, you're trying to have a new beginning in your life here. Now, does that mean that if they come back and they try to make things right with you because they've made things right with themselves, this might bring you out of this struggle situation and make a decision to start a new chapter with them, but hmm. You're not looking back like you're uh, look at how she's walking there. She's taking one. She's walking away from the struggle. So it's like kind of taking one one glance back while she's walking forward. Not dealing with like maybe you're just walking. No, I don't want that struggle. Don't want that struggle back. Some of you, I, I do see it like, I don't know. I don't know what I want, but I know I don't want that. I don't know what I want, but I know I don't want that struggle. That ghosting. The disappearing, the lack of commitment. Virgo, this might be your energy before this person comes back. You're already aware. Like, no. I don't know where I'm going, but I know I'm not going back there. That's what I hear you saying. Well, you know, Virgo, I don't blame you. I just saw the Seven of Swords. Maybe there was cheating, sneaking around, trickery, which we did see with the snake. Someone was being like a snake. I feel like this person, whomever you were dealing with here, could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio. I feel like this person is um, really trying to stop living the life that they were living, I'm hearing. Yeah, I don't know, Virgo. 
you might have a king of wands waiting for you or that was the person that was like giving you a hard time like you're not going to commit to the king of wands or you're walking into the arms of a king of wands could be coming up masculine or feminine for you looking for new love King of Wands and Queen of Wands are just basically looking for your match. You know, someone that comes in matching your energy. Because, I mean, obviously, the King and the Queen of Wands, these are both, it, it doesn't matter what sign. Obviously, they're fire signs, but the energy is that are equivalency. You know, they're both bold. They're both high in confidence. They're both self-assured. They're both independent. Look at how they're not looking at each other. They're ruling their kingdom. He's keeping an eye on that you know part of the kingdom and she's got her eye on that part of the kingdom but they're doing it together you know power couple that's a power couple right there so mm, virgo i feel like this whoever your person is well you would call them your person whoever this one that's making their changes is going to come in with an apology for you and apologize to you i don't know virgo i just kind of get a sense that you know Virgo's like, it's, it feels like, like if they're going to come in and match your energy, then maybe. But I kind of feel like um, you don't want anything less. Look, you have the star. Virgo, you <laughs> you definitely, um, I feel like you kind of look at yourself like that. Like, you know, I'm, I'm one in a million, baby. <laughs> you just kind of have this energy here, you know, like I'm all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> And it's not it's not conceited. It, it just feels like you know what you what you deserve or what you want and you've definitely got this healing energy here. Are you renewing your spirit, being free? Anything else that Virgo needs to hear or Virgo needs to know? Gosh. I don't know, Virgo. I just feel like you um yeah, you're not messing around with any snakes. I mean, if someone's had some growth you know growth is equivalent somebody maybe one of you virgos told somebody you know grow up just grow up and now they they legit took it to heart or they were in a karmic with someone else and they got their <laughs> they got some shit stir served on a silver platter right back at them yeah hmm this is a little bit of an i told you so as well i'm hearing maybe somebody said oh they're gonna go with that person and it's gonna be an i told you so moment they're gonna realize not so much that they lost the best they ever had but they're gonna realize that it was all them it wasn't you know some people just run into rebound relationships so they run they just keep running to other people because they don't want to face themselves because i know you virgo you're just like well i'm imperfect like i'm not like the most perfect person in the world but I don't know that anything, I mean, maybe something happened between you guys where there was a breakup. Maybe there was lessons and stuff for you to learn as well, but I don't see you running back to this person. I see you kind of like uh, taking the lesson and moving on, closing the chapter. Anything else that Virgo needs to know? You've healed from your grief very successfully, Virgo. Yes, or you will be, you know? down for a little while but back up on the horse Virgo I feel like you're okay but at least you know if you're going to consider taking this person back at least you're in a good place to do it to make that consideration versus being in a place of need or desperation you know never go food shopping when you're hungry <laughs> get your belly full first fill yourself up first before you make any long-term decisions or you commit to anything so yeah I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if you're going to give this person a chance that they're coming in and they've, you know, everybody does learn their lessons. People do learn. People do come back and be like, shit, I, I really messed up. What can I do to make it better? You know, where goes like, you need to get rid of that ego. Did you get rid of that ego? Because there is not enough room in this bed for me and you and your freaking ego. <laughs> Virgo, you'll be the one to knock someone's ego you know their crown knock them off the proverbial throne you're just not dealing with the ego that's just what i feel yeah you'd rather be by yourself than have to deal with a third party maybe that snake energy that third party was their ego 
Maybe there wasn't like any cheating. It was just their ego. You were in competition with that. There wasn't enough room. And it looks like you're okay. You know, you do your own self-reflecting, of course. You know, if you, and I just kind of feel like your energy is like, well, you know, I might take you back, but I'm going to need to see that bloody stump. I'm going to need to see that you've made some kind of change. And I'm going to need to see it for quite a long time, not just one day or a week or a month. It's got to be for a long time. And I'm not going to invest anything with you. I'm going to mirror your energy, keep it very casual um, if you're being casual with me. And even if this person comes in and starts love bombing you, keep it casual virgo because you're right obviously i feel like you need to see test the waters see if they like if their ass can cash that paycheck <coughs> is that how it goes <laughs> paying for things that their ass can't cash oh, something like that all right let me take a look here what else do you need to know? Oh, there you go. You got the world. New chapter beginning here. Looking back on the past chapter one more time, if you must, but only to help to write the next new pages of your book. Travel, explore the world, space, the seas, the psych, learn, meet new people, live your best life. Allow the past to cycle out. A new journey is ahead of you. Take someone with you or go solo, but go. Okay. All right, so there's an unblocking happening here. You unblocking someone, someone unblocking you. Um, decision has been made to unblock. Decision has been made to stop ghosting. Okay. In the reverse there. Anything else for Virgo? Huh. Lusty, fiery spirit in the reverse. This is a player card. Okay. You got somebody in your life who's pretty much like they run on their their passions. and their, But see, lusty, fiery spirit in the reverse is someone who um, is chaotic. There's no method to their madness. They pretty much just sleep around. They don't consider. Like, lusty, fiery spirit in the upright is someone who is selective with who they sleep with. They're still non committed. They still follow, follow their passions, but it could be just with one person, right? But in the reverse, this is someone who's like, no, I'll just, wherever I lay my head, <laughs> that's where I'm at, you know? Um, this could be something that you, uh, this person that you had dealt with with them in the past or accused them of, or that was the nature of the relationship between you. Huh. Good friends in the reverse. Which means not good friends. Yeah. Oh, I see. Somebody wanted a friends with benefit. And that is over. Strong, that's over. Okay. I don't know, Virgo. Maybe you were in a situation ship with somebody for a while. Or however long. Or you thought it was more this person. Maybe there was somebody else. You called them out on it. Um, you are you up you upgraded you raised your standards in some way decided you know you're tired of being angry this is a no-win situation I'm getting out of it maybe you got out of it and I don't know you taught this person a lesson that's for sure and you definitely learned something from them all right just a couple more yeah test of faith and boundaries here Virgo so this is pretty profound for you what are you going to do, Virgo? What are you going to do? Are you going to take this person back? If they've changed, if they're showing negative thinking in the reverse. Trying to stay positive, Virgo. Um, if they're coming back in and you don't want them back, this might just be a test of faith in your boundaries to see how well you can avoid this from this person or avoid them. You know, it's different for everybody. Some of you are going to be willing to take somebody back because they're coming in and they're willing to try and make it up to you and make amends and try to work it out. And that's fine. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. For others, it's like, no, 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 no. This is just, this is just, somebody's coming in here and testing me. I'm being tested right now. See if I'm going to like 
run go back to this person and, and believe the lies not that i don't think this person is coming in lying i don't i do feel like there is some type of growth or change that's happening with them <clears throat> but you know just because somebody's having growth and change doesn't mean you're obligated to take them back you know right you know that right just because somebody's like sometimes people gotta live with their consequences so i don't know what your decision is you're gonna make here and i certainly am not going to tell you what to do because you're all unique let's see what the chinese sign is of this person coming in all right, year of the tiger, year of the pig, year of the rooster, year of the monkey, year of the dragon, monkey again, year of the dog. Did I say dragon? Yep, there's a dragon. Year of the rabbit, rooster again, rabbit again, tiger again, year of the snake. <clears throat> That's twice we got the snake here. All right, let's see. Oh, shit. This just fell out. I just pulled this out of the deck. Girl with a snake. Oh, my gosh. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enabling, and boundaries. That must be playing a role here. I think your person... I'm just going to say this. Now, is it possible they could be a narc? Sure. But it's also possible that they got into a karmic thing with a narcissist or they've been trapped by one themselves and they're trying to get out of it. That doesn't mean you need to throw somebody a lifeline. It's just something that is coming to me here. Okay. So you bring out the wild side of me. So this person has a really super duper strong attraction to you, Virgo. They do. The devil card was there. Let's try something new. You know what? I don't feel like that's kinky. This feels more like in order for something to work here, we got to do new things. Like we can't do what we did before because it's not going to work. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. All right. This person is super, super shy. And some of these cards I'm not going to... And I want to kiss you every time I see you. Some of these cards I'm not going to show you because they're totally X-rated. Right? But... Sorry. I don't want to get banned. I have sponsors. Can't do it. But I will tell you, this person is um, approaching you. Is very shy to approach you, Virgo. Okay. Definitely have chemistry. There's very strong mutual attraction and chemistry. It says it is safe to trust in this situation, but it also might be safe to trust yourself, Virgo. Let's see. Yeah, you got obstacles here for sure. Children being involved. You might have children with this person. You're being asked to retreat this time to figure out what you want to do. Retreat and heal and see if there's any more healing that needs to be done. You've got new love or recommitment to love is developing. So either way, you know, it, it's a win, so to speak, if you're trying to win anything here. You know, I do feel like if you choose not to go backwards, then you will have an opportunity for new love, you know, to happen in your life. But there is an opportunity for uh, to recommit to this person. But that's totally up to you. You know, like if they are showing signs i mean you did see the, the hierophant there like if they are showing signs and they're you know coming in with that bloody stump that's what they want to do and they're going to prove it like day after day after day if they were wrong yeah now if you left them and they didn't do anything wrong then this is about you and you need to like clean out some of that that karmic chest closet that you have full of all them old bones and rusty nails whatever you have going on if this is you because i do feel like some of you do want to go back to somebody you, you may have learned some lessons you've had a karmic relationship in the past and you got involved with someone and that karmic stuff never healed and got projected onto the person the new person it's possible and some of you are healing and changing your ways okay this is a soulmate connection though 
Okay, I'll tell you that, which is good, it's not twin flame. And then you have integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Shit, shit, just when I said it. Ah. <laughs> ah, twin flame, okay. I don't know. It could be reversed, right? So let's just let's just leave it there. You might be a cross watcher, and, and for the you cross watchers here who have a relationship with a Virgo, yeah, the Virgo is definitely learning their lesson. So I don't know how many cross watchers are here. If you are, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments section. Let me know you're here because you're obviously welcome. Okay manifest tell the tell the universe exactly what you want that's a really important practice don't give them half answers you know when you go to the restaurant <laughs> be specific if you go to the restaurant waitress comes up to your table the server whatever comes up to your table and says what will you have and you're like i don't know i guess i guess i'll have just a glass of water and i guess i'll just have the steak and I guess I'll just have vegetables, right? But you don't tell them what kind of vegetables. You don't tell them how you want your steak done. You don't tell them if you want ice in your water, right? Or you order a cup of coffee. Do you want cream and sugar? You gotta have it black, like be specific so that you get what you want. It's the same thing. You do that at the restaurant, know what you want and then put your order in. Put your order in Virgo. Universe will give that right back to you, but you kind of have to act like you already have it, like you know you're getting it. Once you put your order in at the like, so <laughs> this is how it works. Once you put your order in at the restaurant, after the the server takes the menus, do you sit there and go, "Oh, I wonder if they're going to bring the food." Do you ever do that? Are are you like ever questioning? Like as soon as you hand them the menus, you know your order's coming because you have to act like you already have it, right? So you're just it's just timing at that point and it's the same thing with manifestation put your order in and expect it to come like you know you already have it it's just timing all right commitment things are getting serious and you have moving change of residence moving in with your partner oh, Virgo. i don't even know half the time you would think i know maybe i don't that's for me to know and you to find out all right so, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Taurus that just flipped to Capricorn. All right, let me see what we got here. Okay, they just said L3, L3. I don't know what that means. Oh, somebody's got their dog is wagging their tail. I don't think cats wag their tails, do they? And I just heard someone's looking at a magazine. <clears throat> Um, I just heard someone say I wasn't, I wasn't, or it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Da, 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 da. Yeah, wasn't, was not. Um, okay, hold on. 1960, 1988, 1984, 1964, 1970. All right, we have a July birthday, we have a November birthday. Someone is 51, someone is 35, someone is 42, August 23rd, August 27th, August 31st, September 14th, September 10th, September 3rd. Somebody lives in the 310 area code. Somebody's in Louisiana. Um, someone calls somebody little one. Hey, or my little one, like a child. Um, someone's in Maine. Uh, I just heard Tia. Someone's name is Tia. T-I-A, Tia. Katia, perhaps? And someone's 46. Um, let's see. I heard Wayne. Uh, someone's from Asia. Someone's in Georgia. Te amo. 
Uh, they just gave me Te Amo. Okay, now they're giving me CME. What is a CME? Isn't that a military term? CME. By the way, yesterday or the other day, I said something. I said BG Iraq, Iraq. And somebody posted in a comment BG meant Battleground Iraq. So that, I want to thank you for saying that because I wasn't sure what I was picking up there but now I'm getting CME and I'm not sure what CME stands for I feel like it's a military thing but if you know put it in the comments below okay let's see do I have any names Gary Sean someone's last name is Wasley Amy. I always get Amy. There must be an Amy somewhere around me. Lisa. Lauren. Okay. I just heard gas. 84. Gas, like fuel. In America, we call it gas. Over in Europe, I guess they call it petrol. But I'm hearing 84. So I don't know if that's like the grade of the gas, something with gas and oil. And somebody's last phone number, last four numbers, they have 8860, um, 2731, 1423, and 6410. Okay, let's get into the charms. What are we getting in charms today? Ooh, nice. All right, Virgo, so roll the dice, Virgo. Somebody gambling, going gambling, doing something with dice, spitting, rolling some dice. Maybe you're gonna take um, a risk here to approach someone or let someone approach you and talk to someone. Maybe you have dice hanging from your rear view mirror. Somebody might be gambling, or there's a risk being taken. Something to do with gambling. Oh, we also have a mermaid. Oh, mermaids, you know, are very, what do we like to say about mermaids? I mean, they're tremendously original, right? The mermaids aren't real. <laughs> but there's a connection. Someone has a connection to a mermaid or a merman. <laughs> That's SpongeBob. All right, and then you've got um, something to do with a heart locket. Very significant to someone. A locket, a heart locket. Maybe somebody special has a picture inside. You might find a locket if you've lost one. There's one you're gonna find it this week or this month. This is pretty much from now through um, like May 23rd. So we're going all through May. But there's definitely some significant change happening here. Virgo. So I'm going to leave that message there. Hope you enjoy that. You want to get a personal reading. There's a link in the description box below. Click that link and that will take you. I've changed my links because I think people weren't, I don't know what's going on. Just click that link and that'll take you directly to where you can book your reading. Okay. And, um, they are, the readings are discounted right now because you know, inflation, like what the hell's going on? Um, but yeah, <sighs> somebody tell me what the CME means. Leave me a comment. C m e what that stands for all right you guys i will see you all back here tomorrow take care hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light-filled life thank you bye